What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. Today we're gonna cover how you can write easier behavior-driven development tests, easier BDD user stories. Now there are three text tools you can utilize. The tooling out there currently is pretty awful. It's not integrated into a significant amount of non-programming tooling that I've seen. So I'm gonna give you three simple text editors that are cross-platform that should allow you to more easily write your user stories in a cucumber syntax. Now, if you're American, it's called cucumber. If you're English, it's called gherkin. And if you're in Ruby, it's how you do behavior-driven development, also known as BDD. So you utilize writing Cucumber stories with acceptance criteria through a series of workshops to get better user stories that are actually testable, doing end-to-end -end tests, functional tests of software working. So normal business people can read it, QA can provide additional scenarios, and developers can look at it and know what the heck they're building and actually turn those into testable code. Because if you go to Visual Studio Code in Google and hit enter, it's a product made by Microsoft for Windows and OS X, and you can download it here. Open a folder, Cucumber Basic. It'll actually open the files off to the left here. So when you open a feature, it's normal text, right? You can drag and drop, or you can do the file open way, whichever you want, way you want to do. I like to open folders, so you can have all the files off to the left here. You can actually see all your files. The problem is it's all white and it's just a normal you know, text editor, right? There's nothing, nothing special about it. Visual Studio Code using F1 has an extensions feature, which allows you to, if you type in extensions and install extension, so notice I type EXT and it auto fills for me. If you do extensions, it'll go and search for me. If you type in Cucumber, it is the only plugin that I've seen that exists. There's not, at the time of this video, there's nothing for Gherkin, right? Same thing, there's nothing for Bahat. So for now, if you install Cucumber, it'll install it, you can restart. And now we have nice coloring. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> so if you wanna use a simple text editor, code is great. That's Visual Studio Code, just has, for now, the only extension allows you to have code coloring, which isn't so bad. It's so great. Next up, let's go to Sublime. Sublime is my favorite text editor, if you've seen any of my videos. Sublime Text 3 is also free. When you go to download, be very sure you're getting Sublime Text 3. In my case, I'm using OS X. You can use Windows as well. Sublime Text is very similar on Mac. You can actually go to Open. On Windows, there's actually an Open File or Open Folder. So in our case, for Mac, we're just gonna open. On Windows, you wanna open folder. For now, Sublime, there are two ways to actually open files. On Mac, you just go file open, point to the folder, and you get a very similar setup here where you see your files and folders off to the left, and you can click them or double click them to keep them open, and they're open in tabs as well here. And it's like a normal text editor, right? You'll notice like notepad or text edit, it's all there for you. Unlike code or Atom, the ability to install extensions is not in default by Sublime. Sublime is very low level and you customize it. So the first thing we have to do is install package control. Now package control is not just for Cucumber or Gherkin files, but it is for everything. It is not very simple. So when you search for package control, you'll notice there are the simple way, right? Where you go to view, console and copy and paste this in. Go to view, show console, and paste, you might not see it, there's a cursor there. You paste this text in and hit enter, and it'll actually install and download and run everything. You should restart Sublime out of paranoia. At that point, you should be able to hit control shift P and have package control. If you go to tools, command palette, that's how you can find the keyboard shortcut. For Mac, it's control shift P. For PC, I forget what it is. In this case, you type in install. You should see package control, install package, install local dependencies, whatever else. We want to install packages. Now you can do this. You can install and uninstall anything. Colors, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you look at the bottom, it's loading. So we're going to type in two things. The first is cucumber, just the basic cucumber. Ignore the rest, ignore the gherkin, ignore all of it. I've tested it all. It's awful. Right? It's, it might have been good four years ago when you first worked on it, but nowadays it doesn't seem to work so well. We'll choose cucumber. It'll install it. We will restart Sublime out of paranoia. And once you reopen a feature, you have nice colors, right? So your features and scenarios and all your keywords are like this, your strings are in yellow with specific ones and your scenarios and givens and ands and all your other keywords are good to go. And the rest, normal text is white. Step two, so we'll go to install, command shift P. Type the word install, it should bring up that. And then type in b hat, like b e hat, 
snippets. Now once you have the hat snippets, it can actually make your writing of features a lot simpler. So for example, we'll create a new snippet and we'll say, save this as a test feature. So it's a feature file, we get our syntax highlighting. So in our new feature file, I'm gonna type lowercase feature. Now watch this, if I hit tab, it actually provides me some code completion. So it auto generates code for me, in this case, the user story, right? And I can give it a name, so login. And now the way they've ordered things is slightly differently. So in this case, they've done the verb first, the persona second, and the reasoning at the end, right? So we're gonna, and they kind of worded it differently. So for example, in order to log in as an admin, I need to, use the application securely. So not really good English. Let's try it differently. We could say feature as an admin, I want to log in so that I can utilize the application securely. That's another way to do it. Doesn't matter which syntax you use, doesn't matter from a coding standpoint, also doesn't matter. Whatever's most effective for your business, designer, QA and developers to all agree and speak the same language, sounds great, doesn't really matter. Now you'll notice if I hit tab again and say scenario lowercase and hit tab, it's also gonna give me some code completion for my scenarios as well. So in this case, I want to log in, hit tab again, it auto selects the parentheses with the given. Given that I am an admin and I am not currently logged in, when I go to the login screen, then I can log in with my credentials. Now, as a coder, you can convert these to step definitions. The problem with the plugins currently available for Sublime is that they don't have step jumps. So for example, if I'm trying to find where the step is, I can't really search for that. I have to search for I am A. It's not the first, it's the feature. It's not the test one I'm playing with. It's actually here. So I can find my steps as a developer, but it's not that great if you're a developer. If you're a business user or a QA user and you're just trying to run it, it's okay. If you're a QA user trying to find the steps that you're fulfilling, not so good. But let's show you another one called Adam, which actually does do the step definitions. So if we search for Adam on Google, depending upon what you're logged in as, it should be adam.io. It is a text editor created by, by GitHub and it is cross-platform as well. Now, as you can see, it's very similar to Sublime and very similar to code is that all your files are there if you open the actual folder or project open Adam whether you've opened a folder or not you should see the welcome screen if you don't know where it is just go to your help at least on Mac that's how you get a back welcome guide and it shows you how to open a project install packages which is their version of plugins so you click install package open the actual installer and it'll walk you through the actual installation process. So in our case, we're gonna search for ones called Cucumber. When you search for Cucumber packages, there are three that we need. The first is the actual Cucumber support for Cucumber. It's actually converted from TextMate, which is what eventually became Sublime, which is now back to Atom. So in this case, we install Cucumber. This will allow us to get our code hints. So when you open a feature file, and I'll show you an example of that, our test file here, our login, login feature, you know, have nice little purples and green for the text and important text such as scenarios and values and the rest of the text is gray, okay? So you get some basic code code coloring, not so bad. The next up is autocomplete. Autocomplete is, a, is very interesting because it completes on your actual steps as well. The last one is steps if you wanna to jump to the steps, okay? So install these three and you should have everything you need to do to utilize Cucumber features and the steps inside of Atom. So you, the Cucumber installation is fine, but the autocomplete and the steps need some tweaking a little bit. So if you go to autocomplete, scroll down, you gotta change this to where your featured files are. So for now, the default is slash features, which is just fine. So I'm gonna type it just to show you how it works. We're gonna go back to install. The reason the autocomplete is important is that if you're doing an additional scenario where you want to use many of the same steps, but test slightly different functionalities, for example, log in with existing username and wrong password, right? To verify your error scenario is in fact legit. The user shown a good error scenario. Given I am an admin. So it's not too good with strings, but you can also say, and I am not currently logged in, see and enter. So it helps you write existing scenarios. So if you're a QA person, rewriting of a variety of scenarios, very, very helpful. Now the last awesome feature is for the actual autocomplete. Now if you click on the settings for autocomplete, so just click on him and scroll down, it'll show you the actual keyboard shortcuts for auto cucumber step. Control Alt J, at least on my machine, on your PC or Linux, it may be different. 
So let's go to the actual login feature and go to I am an admin and hit Control Alt J. And you can see it actually takes me to this step in the actual step file that I'm testing. So if you're a developer or QA, this is insanely useful. One step slightly more advanced than the Sublime version. So if, when I press login, I can also see where that step is as well down here when I press login and actually start writing the functional code to fulfill that step. So again, hope that gives you started, give you some options. You can either use the Visual Studio Code, which just has coloring. You can utilize Sublime, which actually has coloring, hint, uh, really, really good hints for actually writing your feature scenarios and okay completion, not so great, not as, as fast and as comprehensive as Adam's is. And Adam, as coloring and hints, the completion isn't so great for actual creating new features or scenarios, but it is for existing steps that you've already written. And the unique feature that Adam has is jump into the steps which Sublime and Visual Studio don't. So hopefully that gives you some options. They're all cross-platform. They work both on Mac and PC as well. I think it's a few on Linux. I don't know. Gets you started writing your Cucumber or Gherkin features a lot more simply and helps your team out. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like. I really appreciate it and tell your friends. And if you got any other suggestions, a better tooling that you've seen in the hat, cucumber, or gherkin syntax area, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you very much.